as you focus on your breath. Give yourself just one thing to talk about to yourself, i.e. the breath. Ask yourself whether it's too long, too short, too heavy, too light. In other words, you're not here just observing things. You're asking questions. You're asking questions with a purpose. Because if the breath is too long, you don't leave it too long. You can change it for the sake of well-being. You're training yourself in new ways of conversing with yourself inside. Ever since we learned language, we've been talking to ourselves. We've picked up different ways of speaking from who knows where, and they all jumble together in our minds. And we can often create a lot of suffering for ourselves by the thought patterns and conversations that we focus on. So the Buddha is giving you new things to talk about. Talk about your breath. It's neutral territory. And it can be your friend if you learn to listen to it. So this is part of the talking. You don't just talk, 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 talk at the breath. You ask questions and then you observe. Don't you think you've observed something? Follow through with that and see what the results are. And then talk to yourself about the results. And if they're not good, try to think of something new. This is how the Buddha gained awakening. He would try something out, really try it out. And then he'd ask himself, well, what are the results I'm getting? Are they satisfactory? And if they weren't satisfactory, then the question is, well, what other path of action could he take? So he tried something else out and then observed. And then passed judgment. And this is how we learn in life. The problem is we haven't learned how to apply that principle to our own minds enough. Because we still find ourselves creating suffering for ourselves that's totally unnecessary. So pulling out just being with the breath for a while gets you out of a lot of unskillful conversations. It gives you something good to talk about. Then when you go back to the other topics, you come back with a new perspective. Sometimes you can see right through some old patterns of speaking to yourself that are totally unnecessary but are weighing you down. You say, I don't need this. Why am I doing this? No one is forcing me. That's one thing you've got to watch out for. The mind has certain, certain ideas about what it has to do, and then it drives itself crazy. So you can question those ideas. This is a lot of what the practice is, is learning how to ask the right questions. Questions about what you're doing, and if it's not good enough, questions about how you can do it better. When we follow the Buddha's example like this, we find that we can clear out a lot of the problems in the mind. When the mind doesn't weigh itself down, then it's a better position to be helpful to itself and to other people. So look into the conversations. Remember, if there's a conversation that's making you miserable, you don't have to engage in it. There are other things to talk about, better things to talk about, or better ways of looking at that particular topic so that you don't have to suffer from it. In this way, everybody benefits. <laughs>